What's going on guys, it's Shu here bringing you a, another review on a 2.5 dimensional seduction. Apologies for the last couple days not being able to upload, was at a con. Uh, guys, if you guys want to check out all that, I'll be doing the what we got during our haul kind of video on my second channel. So check that out if you guys are interested. I'll be sure to make sure to put a link in the community page. But check that out. This was a fun episode though. Let's go into it. So we start off with Mikari hopeful to find her good old senpai in the room. Fortunately, he is not in there. And we have the classic anime trope moment where a character finds another character undressing. And we see Mikari finding Lilisa getting undressed. She's getting ready to try out her, or put on, I guess, her cosplay outfit for some afternoon shooting. And we see that this, of course, gets interrupted, not only because of Mikari finding her in here, but of the fact that we have uh, Lilisa completely forgetting the fact that she has a afternoon remedial class in order for her to pass. And so before we have her running out, we have Mikari kind of confronting her, asking her if anything actually happened. And she said, no, I realized that what I love was the fact that he was my friend and I love that he's going to be my photographer and that we have a mutual love for our same character, but it's nothing of that sort. And so, of course, Mikari's like, these guys are idiots, but that means there's more of a chance for me. And so we see that good old okamura shows up he comes into the room and we see that mikari is actually dressed up as the cosplay character which is kind of funny uh we see that she's dressed up and of course for uh okamura this is actually kind of fun and yet kind of dangerous mikari just like look i'm going to go for it if maybe me dressing up as her will get him going, then maybe I'll do that. And so we have this moment here where I want to say maybe he had some heavy hesitations. He wasn't sure if he was going to be able to actually hold back or not. But then he kind of composes himself and basically says, look, I can't do it. She is also not just my waifu. She's everyone else's waifu that loves her. I could not. But she see that we see that Mikari at least tried. Uh, she got a little bit of a thrill out of it, which was great. I think it was fun. We would see Lalisa actually coming back into the room, seeing the fact that Mikari is in cosplay, and she apologizes. And Lalisa just doesn't get angry. She's like, "Oh my God! It's like I can finally see um, Larissa. Oh, I can't remember the character's name, but also in live action. This feels so real. Like awesome." And, I mean, it was kind of a fun moment there. I think that was kind of interesting. But we see that they share this little moment. Uh, we have uh, Akamura going and finding, I believe it was Ogino, I believe his name was. And he actually set, was seeking him to possibly find uh, some kind of practice in order for him to be a better photographer. He does this on the weekend. And... It's kind of a fun little afternoon shoot. We see that he and Ogino are taking pictures of Mag Magino, Magino, I believe her name was. Apologies, guys. I'm trying to remember the names. Sometimes I kind of forget with everything that I'm watching and reviewing. So apologies. But we see that the photo shoot starts off pretty simple. It starts off very kind of, um, I guess you could say, soft and kind of like him showing his novice skills. But we see as the postures i guess the positionings and the way she looks also a little more suggestive looks of course you know this is something that you know in the cosplaying world it, it happens i'm not all familiar with it but with all the cosplaying i've seen throughout you know my life so far uh it's we could see that some people are truly dedicated to their craft and you know good on them however we see that uh, as the time goes on the pictures actually get better quality and that's actually a very good thing for um, Okamura and seeing how he actually improves and is getting better and we see that for like for Ogino he is trying to make sure that Magino gets more into like the top spot now that one of them has retired and 
Of course, Okamura doesn't necessarily want to be in the top spot, but he would love to bring uh, Lalisa more into a better, I guess, more well-known spot. He actually conveys this message to her, and she's like, well, you know, I was doing this for fun, but if you want to get there, I would love for everyone to know the love that we have for this character, and, you know, we can get at the top if we'd like, you know, but most of all, most of all, I want to just be able to have, you know, our, my character, or, or our character, to be loved more. And so we see that, you know, he actually has improved. He takes pictures of her in different poses based on some of the images that he got. Uh, and they look a lot better. And so he is improving and it's starting to look nice. However, we have uh, an issue. And that is that the student council president actually shows up to his club room. And when confronted, he is asked, you know, you know, do you... Do you know that you actually have not enough members to be considered an official club? And therefore, you're being basically taken out of this room in order to get this new club that requires this room. And we see that they may be losing their space, which is sucky. So now a real life issue is now getting to them. What are they going to do? We'll check that out next episode. But let me know what you guys think. I'd love to know your thoughts. As always, though, stay safe and I'll catch you all later.